I'm, the next thing I'm going to talk is about finding photographers because obviously sometimes you want to build a portfolio before you go see an agent, even though you don't necessarily need it. But as I said before, if you want to do photographs before you see an agent, use a professional photographer. Finding a photographer is relatively easy, but finding a good photographer is hard. When you're looking to find a photographer, when you first start, you need to thoroughly do research. You can usually start by Googling the type of photographer you are looking for. For example, you could Google fashion photographers, then visit their website to look at their work and their reviews. If you don't know the type of photos you need, a good way to gauge is to visit modeling agency websites to look through their models and look at the modeling portfolios on their website and find out what looks you might need and put them together by creating a little lookbook. So you could go on a modeling website, you could take some photos and you could say, oh, I want to shoot something like this or I want to shoot something like that. And then when you go to the um, photographers, you can say, oh, I want a picture that looks like this. I mean, I wouldn't say when you first start your career, you should be the judge of what type of pictures you should take. But generally, when you look at modeling websites, you have, idea, you have an idea of what they're looking for and what type of style photos they have. Once you've done that, you can try and find a photographer that shoots similar photos. Once you've found your photographer, make sure to do a background check on them. Read their Yelp reviews review them on their site and check their social media and LinkedIn pages. If you're a minor, a minor is anyone under the age of 18, get your parent or guardian to initiate the first call. Also get your parent or guardian to go with you on the day of the shoot. Adult models should also take care when meeting strangers for the first time. Do as much background research as possible to make sure the photographer is who they say they are. You know, now, that said, one of the things I want to lay emphasis on is in today's world, you should always make sure your safety and security is paramount. Make sure you do research on any photographers or anybody that tells you they're an agent or whatever they tell you they are before you go into any offices or any studios to meet them. Once you have done your research and found the right photographer, the next thing to do is put your look together and decide what you will wear on the day of the shoot. The makeup artist is one person you might need on your shoot and you need a good makeup artist. Makeup artists are important on modeling shoots because they can help create the look you want and even help improve your skin to shoot better when the light catches it. They sometimes come at an extra cost but they are worth it. If you're shooting with a professional photographer, I would recommend you should definitely get a makeup artist. Remember, you do not have to organize a professional shoot if you are looking for an agent. I repeat this again. The agent can help you do that. But if you can't find one and decide to launch your own career, you will need to have some professional photos. So if you can't find an agent and you want to you know, curate your own photos, it might be advisable to have some professional photos because at least when you put them on Instagram, people can see that this girl or guy is serious. But if you're looking for an agent, you don't really need professional photos because they will organize all that once you join them.